हेलो डियर एस्परेंट्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल टुडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू माय इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद जम्मू कश्मीर पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन इन असिस्टेंट इंजीनियर एग्जामिनेशन सिविल ओके नाउ लेट मी टेल यू दैट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बोर्ड्स एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वर फोर एंड द ईच बोर्ड कंप्राइज ऑफ फोर मेम्बर्स सो बट दिस इज नॉट ऑलवेज बी देयर कभी दो बोर्ड्स भी हो सकते हैं तीन भी हो सकते हैं एंड देर में भी चेंज इन द मेम्बर्स सो दिस इज़ नॉट परमानेंट दिस इज़ नॉट अ रूल एक्चुअली ओके सो नाउ बोर्ड वॉज डिसाइडेड बाय द स्लिप सिस्टम वहाँ पर आपको एक रूम में लेके जाया जाता है जहाँ पर स्लिप्स होती हैं एंड यू हैव टू चूज अ स्लिप ओके एंड दैट स्लिप डिसाइड्स विच बोर्ड इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो विल टेक योर इंटरव्यू सो दिस बोर्ड वॉज डिसाइडेड बाय द स्लिप सिस्टम विच इज प्योरली अ ट्रांसपेरेंट मैनर ओके नाउ माई बोर्ड वॉज बोर्ड थ्री दैट इज बाई द चेयरमैन वॉज मिस पोश चाड़क ये जो चेयरमैन हैं ये बेसिकली मेम्बर थे उस टाइम पर और इन uh, इनको बनाया गया था उस बोर्ड का चेयरमैन ओके पोश चाड़क देखिए अगर हम बोर्ड की बात करें पूरे बोर्ड की बात करें तो पूरे बोर्ड कुछ इस तरीके से होता है यहाँ से एंट्री होती है और दिस यहाँ पर जो इंटरव्यूअर है वो बैठेगा ओके okay? एंड द पर्सन हु इज़ गोइंग टू बी इंटरव्यूड विल सिट हेयर एंड हेयर देर इज़ अ पी एस सी मेम्बर चेयरमैन एंड टू एक्सपर्ट्स ये जो पी एस सी मेम्बर हैं ये भी पी एस सी के ऑब्वियसली होंगे चेयरमैन भी पी एस सी के होंगे बट ये जो दो लोग हैं ये एक्सपर्ट्स जो हैं ये बाहर से आते हैं फ्राम द रेप्यूटेड इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक आई आई टीज़ एन आई टीज़ और अदर फेमस यूनिवर्सिटीज़ ओके सो यहाँ पर अब जो है दे ऑल विल अटैक जॉइंटली ऑन दिस पर्सन ओके सो लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स एक्चुअली my first question the first question was introduce yourself and that was asked by the psc member actually generally this question uh, uh, is asked by the chairman but at that point of chair uh, time chairman was not present wo ek do minute ke liye bahar gaye the that's why this member asked me this question that introduce yourself so in in introduction you just say that i am this i am that and i am doing this i have done this agar aap koi job kar rahe hain to uske bare mein bata sakte hain okay so my question फर्स्ट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ और इसमें मैंने यही आंसर दिया दैट आई एम कन्ना महाजन माई फादर नेम इज़ अनिल गुप्ता यहाँ पर ही हुआ था जस्ट आई स्टॉप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन केम वाई यू राइट महाजन एज योर फादर राइट्स गुप्ता सो वेरी यू नो अनप्रिडिक्टेबल क्वेश्चन दैट वाई आई राइट महाजन एंड वाई माई फादर राइट गुप्ता सो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेसिकली सो आई आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन दैट आई लाइक दिस वर्ड महाजन एंड महाजन एंड गुप्ता आर सेम सो देर इज नथिंग एल्स की आप महाजन लिख सकते हैं गुप्ता नहीं लिख सकते हैं एंड ऑल सो आई सेट दैट आई लाइक दिस वर्ड महाजन बिकॉज महाजन मीन्स द पीपल हु आर ग्रेट आर सेट टू बी महाजन सो आई थिंक दैट आई एम ग्रेट सो दैट्स वाई सर आई राइट महाजन सो आई थिंक कॉन्फिडेंस इज मच more required whenever you are answering any question okay so this was the first question next is next question was next question now uh, the generally introduction is asked by the chairman and then comes to the expert so now the questions were asked by the expert number 1 now the question was which type of steel would you prefer in civil constructions i said sir fe415 now the question was why fe415 i said sir it is ductile and it has a good yield strength as all of you know that fe415 has 415 newton per mm square yield strength is fe415 newton per uh, 415 newton per mm square so i said sir because it has a good yield strength and it has a good ductility now he has the next question that एफ़ी टू फिफ्टी इज़ मोर डक्टाइल दैन वाई डोंट यू प्रेफर एफ ई टू फिफ्टी सो आई सेट सर नो डाउट एफ ई टू फिफ्टी इज मोस्ट डक्टाइल बट द थिंग इज दैट इट प्रोसेस इज वेरी लिटल ईल्ड स्ट्रेंथ दैट इज ओनली टू फिफ्टी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्योर सो दिस इज द रीज़न दैट एफ ई टू फिफ्टी स्टील इज नॉट प्रेफर्ड सो यहाँ से उसने क्या पूछा यहाँ से उसने पूछा अगर आप ऐसा कहते हो कि ईल्ड स्ट्रेंथ उसकी कम होती है तो एफ ई फाइव हंड्रेड की तो ईल्ड स्ट्रेंथ ज़्यादा है देन वाई डोंट यू प्रेफर एफ ई फाइव हंड्रेड सो नो डाउट एफ ई फाइव हंड्रेड हैज मोर ईल्ड स्ट्रेंथ दैन एफ ई टू फिफ्टी बट द डक्टिलिटी ऑफ एफ ई फाइव हंड्रेड इज़ वेरी लेस बिकॉज इफ यू सी दिस ग्राफ इट इज़ द स्ट्रेस ट्रेन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डिफरेंट ग्रेड्स ऑफ स्टील सो यू विल फाइंड दैट 
as the grade because this is for 250 this is 415 this is 500 as the grade of the concrete increase sorry steel increases its ductility decreases this is the fractural strain fractural strain comes immediately in fe500 so the ductility decreases ductility decreases as the grade increases so no doubt fe500 has a very good yield strength but its ductility is less but nowadays i, I can tell you that there are higher grades with higher ductility like tmt bars okay so usme kya hai uh, a special design bar which possesses both a very good yield strength as well as a very good ductility so this was the graph which was nearly 3-4 questions which were based on now the next was the question was in LSM limit state method designed strength of concrete is taken as I said sir it is it is taken as 0.45 FCK ok he said how this value come this value where did it come so I said my answer was sir by applying the factors of safety he said no 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 explain this he gave me the uh, sheet and said explain this so I explained him that in limit state method we considered 67 we considered 67 percent of strength only and on that we applied uh, 1.50 as factor of safety so when you take 0.67 fck and you apply factor of safety 1.50 then it comes 0.45 fck so he was highly satisfied uh, uh, with this answer but at last you will see that how much mark I could only you know get so he said tell me something about factors of safety actually I want to tell you one thing here that in the interview your questions are very much interlinked whenever you answer one thing they ask another question from that answer only so they said uh, he said tell me something about factors of safety so I uh, told him that in limit state method we take factors of safety like for 1.15 for uh, steel and 1.50 for concrete N uh, not only in limit state method but in case of work, uh, working stress method also factors or different factors of safety are considered so his next question now changed he changed the subject and said what is siphon so uh, basically this is from you know fluid mechanics and siphon uh, all of us know that it is a long bent pipe which is used to transfer liquid or anything from one place to another especially when two things are separated by some obstacle or something so uh, th there is a pressure difference concept which can transfer one thing from uh, uh, a thing from one place to another so this is all about siphon a very simple concept from fluid mechanics then what is the difference between permeability and porosity this question is very very important question and I knew the answer of this permeability and porosity basically both represents the seepage of uh, you know liquid but when there is seepage from the interconnected voids when there is seepage from the interconnected interconnected voids means the spaces between the you know particles then it is called as permeability and when there is seepage through the material itself you know when the material is porous and the seepage is because of that thing then it is called as porosity so this is the main difference that when there are interconnected voids and when there is you know uh, seepage through material itself only that is called as porosity so the member was highly satisfied with the answer so the next is now questions transfer to the next expert so his first question was in eastern india bamboo is used in the construction the such main construction is uske kehne ko tata eastern india mein bamboo ko generally use kiya jata hai construction ke to wo koon si main construction hai to i said bridges ye maine thode din pehle hi padha tha ok ye un dinon thoda news mein bhi tha to mujhe lagta hai ki shayad unhone wahin se question puchha to jo bridges hain unko banaya jata hai बैंबू से बैंबू को यूज़ करके इन ईस्टर्न इंडिया व्हाई बैंबू इज़ यूज्ड सो आई सेड सर इट हैज एक्चुअली एक्जेक्टली आई डिड नो बट आई सेड सर इट हैज अ वेरी गुड क्वालिटीज दिस एंड आल्सो with confident I said all the things so why the people of Jammu and Kashmir do not prefer such construction first of thing first of all is bamboo is not available here who will bring bamboo from there and usko chatti bhi kya hai ki wo lakdi ka ghar banayega when there are you know constructions pakka constructions here in Jammu and Kashmir so what is the need that they would construct the so I said jaise minna aapko bataya minna aise hi answer diya that what is the need means you must be confident about the things which you are saying so cantilever is determinate or indeterminate it is a uh, very you know uh, in a इस एक्सपर्ट ने बहुत घुमाया मुझे इस क्वेश्चन पे दैट कैंटिलीवर इज डिटर्मिनेट और इनडिटर्मिनेट बिकॉज क्लियर कट द कैंटिलीवर इज अ डिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर वाई बिकॉज रिएक्शंस 
reactions are three three reactions and there are three equilibrium equations so three minus three r minus e three minus three zero but he argued with me i said sir cantilever is a determinate structure he said no cantilever is an indeterminate structure i said why sir uh, uh, are you talking about cantilever or probed cantilever he said no i am talking about uh, cantilever only so cantilever is a determinate structure but last tak wo mana nahi i maine usko yahi kaha cantilever is a determinate structure he said no cantilever is a indeterminate structure so i don't know Um, he was talking about which type of cantilever which structures are prefer determinate or indeterminate and why so this is a very good question uh, actually in uh, we all all of us know that indeterminate structures are generally preferred there are two main reasons the first is that indeterminate structures are externally more, more stable externally these structures are more stable and the second one is that they are economical i have told my students i have explained my students all of this that how they are you know externally stable and how they are how they are economical so uh, the question was uh, very easy and how can you save chocards at your home yahan tak to chairman madam bhi aa chuki thi and chocards ko aap kaise apne ghar par save kar sakte ho so the main uh, you know the very common method is applying the bitumen coating and all wo jo paint hum karte hain and all so they were not satisfied with my answer they wanted something else from me but i don't know i, I don't know what they want actually at that point of time so uh, my answer was this only yes now what are cadastral surveys so this is a type of survey a cadastral survey in which property lines are you know uh, surveyed property lines are differentiated so th th that are cadastral surveys very easy question why steel is provided in civil constructions uh, i said sir for tension uh, because there is a generally the development of construction uh, compression and tension so for tension steel plays a very important role in tension he said no 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 but column is purely compression member then why steel in column if you are talking about that uh, if you are saying that steel takes tension then why uh, column in column steel is provided although column is purely a compression member so no doubt steel takes tension but it is equally strong in compression as well it is equally strong in compression as well that's why when we talk about the doubly reinforced beams we provide steel here at the tension zone and as well as in compression zone so the role of this steel at in the compression zone is only is not to take tension its role is to take compression so steel is equally strong in compression and tension so in columns in columns steel takes compression okay but its main role its main role is to take tension now questions transfer to psc member that is mr इंजीनियर मुश्ताक बट एक चीज़ मैं यहाँ पे कहना चाहूँगा जब भी आप इंटरव्यू देने जाते हैं जितने भी मेंबर्स होते हैं उनकी क्वालिफिकेशन आपको पता होनी चाहिए सो so दैट आपको पता लगे कि इस ये मेंबर हमसे क्या पूछ सकता है और बाय चांस ही इंजीनियर मुश्ताक भट्ट एक ऐसे मेंबर थे पी में जो ऑलरेडी चीफ इंजीनियर रिटायर्ड थे सिविल इंजीनियर थे और बहुत काम भी किया इन्होंने कश्मीर में सो so यही इस मेंबर इस बोर्ड में एक मेम्बर की तरह बैठे थे तो मुझे एक्सपेक्टेड था कि इनसे भी टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन आने वाले हैं सो हिस्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉर what are horizontal and vertical curves so all of us know in transportation engineering horizontal curves kya hote hain which are uh, designed to change the direction you know change the direction of motion and vertical curves when there is change in the gradient so these are horizontal curves and vertical curves so maine unko sheet pe bana ke bataya what actually they are what are the types of vertical curves what are the types of summit curves valley curves and all okay now what is pile foundation he asked the same question in a interview as well as when i gave the interview of kas uh, at that point of time also he asked the same question what are pile foundations so all of us know about pile foundation what is it what are pre stressed members so the members in which uh, you know uh, stress is initially introduced and that compressive stress is introduced so that uh, whenever it is subjected to loading uh, the load the load stresses gets counterbalance so that are pre stressed members वट आर द रीजन ऑफ डिप्रेशन ऑन द रोड उनका कहने का मतलब था ये जो खड्डे पड़ जाते हैं रोड्स पर इसका मेन कारण क्या है तो इसके बड़े सारे मेन कारण हो सकते हैं बट यही है कि सॉइल सब ग्रेड जो है या सब ग्रेड जो लेयर्स हैं जो हमारे पेवमेंट की लेयर्स हैं अगर वो अच्छे से हमने उनको कॉम्पैक्ट नहीं किया है हमने मटीरियल की कमी हो सकती है सो ये सब रीजन हो सकते हैं मटीरियल की क्वालिटी की कमी हो सकती है ये सब रीजन हो सकते हैं फॉर द डिप्रेशन 
ओके okay? और इंटरव्यू एंडिड यहाँ पर तो मेरा चौदह पंद्रह मिनट में आपसे डिस्कशन खत्म हो गया बट इंटरव्यू एंडिड आफ्टर थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी मिनट्स इट टूक और उसके बाद ये मेरा इंटरव्यू खत्म हुआ था माई एक्सपीरियंस इज दैट कॉन्फिडेंस इज प्रे रिक्वेस्टेड बिकॉज कॉन्फिडेंस मैटर्स वट एवर यू आर आंसरिंग इन दैट कॉन्फिडेंस मैटर्स नॉलेज इज मस्ट बिकॉज एट द टाइम ऑफ इंटरव्यू नो टाइम विल बी गिवन टू यू टू थिंक वन एवर दे थ्रो द क्वेश्चन ऑन यू यू हैव टू आंसर इमिडिएटली ओके अगर रिटर्न कहीं एग्जाम होता है तो वहां पर क्या होता है रिटर्न एग्जाम में क्या होता है रिटर्न एग्जाम में हमें टाइम मिल जाता है सोचने का बट इंटरव्यू uh, में हमें टाइम नहीं मिलेगा अगर आपको आंसर नहीं आएगा दे विल इमिडिएटली चेंज यू नो देयर क्वेश्चन सो बॉडी लैंग्वेज मैटर्स वेन एवर यू आर टेलिंग समथिंग ट्राई टू यूज हैंड्स एक्सप्रेशन एंड ऑल इंटरव्यू एटिकेट्स आर मस्ट मस्ट हाउ यू एंटर द रूम हाउ यू सिट ऑन द चेयर हाउ यू लीव द रूम so uh, uh, this matters eye contact is also one of the interview etiquette that whenever you are talking whenever you are answering the question to a particular interviewer you must not see at him only at least aap sabko address kare nahi to wo boring lagega baki wale ko boring lagega ki aap unse baat hi nahi kar rahe hain so these are the very very important things okay but what can i say my interview was excellent and as i had answered for each and every question but still i got 20 marks out of 40 so um, i don't believe in interviews this time there is 60% weightage to your you know written examination so i request um, all of you that please uh, work hard for the written test because nobody uh, is going to deduct your marks in the written test if you have uh, you know done everything right uh, but in the interview don't take a chance because uh, even though your interview is good uh, though uh, uh, your marks would be less but uh, if you have done you know excellent in your written examination then there is nobody uh, who can deduct your mark so thank you so much and best of luck be connected always very soon i am going to throw videos on ssb je examination also as requested by you people thank you so much